डॉन के दुश्मन को ये बात हमेशा याद रखनी चाहिए कि डॉन कभी कुछ नहीं भूलता हंगरी नॉट ओनली फॉर ब्रेन हंगरी फॉर लव वेर देर इज राइचुअसनेस इन द हार्ट वेर देर इज राइचुअसनेस इन द हार्ट देर इज ब्यूटी इन द कैरेक्टर डॉन का इंतजार तो ग्यारह मुल्कों की पुलिस कर रही है लेकिन सोनिया एक बात समझ लो डॉन को पकड़ना मुश्किल ही नहीं नामुमकिन है इंडिया इज नॉट एबल टू कोप एंड सर्वाइव इन अ वेरी टफ ग्लोबल इकोनॉमिक इन्वायरमेंट आर इंडिपेंडेंस विल बी थ्रेटन And some have used it with purpose. Men simply make noise. In a world that's intensely noise polluted, there are some for whom it's a silent world. They hear just one sound: the sound of silence. Blissful. You may think so because you are bombarded with sound and they are not because they can not hear they can not hear the car horn they can not hear their friends calling even more painful is that they can't even with difficulty say things you and I just utter away we may for a while think that they can not speak our language for them it's just that the world is deaf and can not hear their pain Fortunately in this apathetic world there are some who care so that these challenged children can hear our language and tell you their pain in a language that we understand It's a long long drawn struggle a struggle to be seen felt and experienced to appreciate the result Meet Priya, Yusna and Kishore they are full of smiles as they await their teacher in their class They're eager to pick up just one or two more words during the day. Just one or two words. Yes. And it's not easy. They cannot hear as you and I can and so cannot say them as you and I can. It requires an extraordinary effort for them. They need to first learn alphabets. so that they can visually relate the sound to the alphabets they intently watch the teacher's lip movements and facial expressions to catch the failing and feeble sound very very attentively and carefully these children watch the teacher's hand movements the fingers and gestures amazingly they combine all these and learn one more word or sentence word by word sentence by sentence They are handheld and guided into academics. An amazing feat for all of us who simply skip top into speech with least or absolutely no effort. It may sound simple for us, but when you spend 10 minutes in Priya's class and you will see their difficulty, their struggle and their relentless effort. At the same time you will be wonderstruck at the extraordinary commitment dedication and ability of these god sent teachers who will simply not give up since we can hear we know about a lot of things around us no one taught us that a horse is an animal or a dog barks we just heard the word and saw the scene and just connected and more importantly we learned them all when we were very young it was never a classroom lesson but for these hearing impaired children for whom words and sentences mean nothing in life everything is to be taught and the age of the child is just a material it is the child's hearing ability that determines the level of the lesson and the teaching begins as early as the impairment is recognized lovingly by the parents guided by trained teachers it is a heart rending moment 
as one sees the loving mother's persistent pushing, and the innocent child's childlike reluctance to be pushed. It is amusing, and amazing, at the same time, to see love, affection, caring and commitment, all at once. In this mother-child classroom, one sees a mix of emotions. Sternness, struggle, pain, pranks, fun, joy and jubilation abound as the hours tick away. And this process is a long one. It can go on for up to three years, till the child is ready for academics of the school. Minute by minute the test of patience just mounts, but the conviction to succeed continues, in the child the mother, and the teacher. But then, if you think it is all very somber and depressive, just wait for the class to break for a lunch break. It's like any other school. The joy of freedom, the gay abandon, pranks, naughtiness and impishness erupt in one go, leading one to wonder if these children are ever challenged in any way. The bonding between the mother and child, friend and friend, teacher and student is so vividly glorious a sight, one will forget that this is a school for hearing impaired. The telling difference though, is the silence that pervades, as if someone turned off the volume. In any other school, it would have been very difficult to hear one another, in the noisy uproar. The aim of this school is to bring the hearing impaired children into mainstream learning, as quickly as possible. Sometimes the word quick, can mean one or two years of preparation. Once the teacher and the parent are confident that the child can move on, they're taught everything in a school curriculum, maths, science, grammar, yoga, drawing and even dancing. Although you may not spot them differently in the group, you will never miss their confidence that's come about after years of struggle. The struggle to learn is one side of the story. The struggle to equip themselves to learn is another. Hearing aids are expensive and need frequent repairs and replacements. Surgical implants can cost as much as a few cardiac surgeries. Coming from middle class, these children have the fire to succeed in their belly, but very very little fuel to keep the fire on. It is exactly here that we see the participation of the community in keeping this good work going on. While many kind-hearted individuals have helped with books, furniture and learning material, some have sponsored the free lunch for these children for weeks on. There are some who have gifted a cup of milk to every child, twice a week and some who volunteer as short-term teachers. Many socially responsive corporates have sponsored hearing aids and other expensive infrastructure. Drop by drop, grain by grain, brick by brick, the destiny of these differently gifted children is being taken care of by the community and the society. The sustaining of this commitment is in the hands of the school and the trust, that has pledged itself for the cause. The more the willingness to help, the more the children who are in the waiting, ready to struggle their way into a new life. A life which is as good, as was. Thanks for hearing this story. Are you keen on doing something? <laughs>